Okay, this is the dining room and it is one of my favorite rooms because it's the room that I do an unusual color scheme, meaning because the walls are blue, oh PS and by the way, if you like the color of these walls, because I know you're going to ask because it's a really great blue, so people ask all the time. I'm not just being facetious. It's called Buxton Blue by Benjamin Moore. It is a really great blue, so I'm telling you now. Because the walls are blue, I do an unusual color scheme in this room. I started out using kind of blue and silver, but then I thought, hmm, need a little more warmth. So now I do blue, silver, different shades of blue, silver, golds, creams, all kinds of tones in between. Different textures, different shapes, different sizes of ornaments. And because this is a green tree with flocking, then I think it's beautiful on the tree. It's not too jarring, it's soft and pretty, and it's really, really gorgeous when it's done. I also wanted to show you how I store the ornaments. So if you have ornaments that you really love, it is going to be an investment to store them in a way that's gonna protect them in a way that's gonna be the easiest for you to take out next year. One of the things I learned the hard way is that if you have an ornament box where you have to empty the top before you can get to the bottom, Hear me out on this, it makes you nuts. When you go to decorate the tree, it's going to be more challenging because you can't see what's on the bottom until you empty all of what's on the top. And when you're trying to distribute everything evenly, it makes you crazy. So these are beautiful boxes from Home Improvements. They're fabric covered, they have fabric on the top, so they're not gonna ruin anything. Handles on the sides, really well made. They're not inexpensive, but they're great, and I just want to show them to you. Oh, and you can label what room they go in, DR, dining room. I'm gonna put this down and show you why I love them. Each one of these boxes has three drawers. Notice how I can pull this top drawer out, and the sections in here are actually going to be something that you can change whenever you want, and you can pull each of the three drawers out and so this room is gonna be covered with drawers, but I can see everything I have before I put it on the tree. That's why I love these boxes. I do wish that they were not as much of an investment as they are if you have a lot of ornaments, but if you do have a lot of ornaments, you're going to wanna to protect them so it just makes sense. So this tree is gonna be beautiful. We're gonna start out with blue, silver, golds, and creams, and you're gonna love it when it's done. All right, I have everything laid out. I can see all the drawers at once that I need to to start because whenever I start the tree, I always start from the inside out. You have to fill the inside. When you look in and you see the center of the tree, which basically on an artificial tree is a metal pole, you don't wanna see that. I like to use a lot of highly reflective ornaments on the inside of the tree. So when you look in, it just looks like mirrors coming back out. This is how I normally do it. One hook per finger and I can do four ornaments at a time. I'll do four in the silver and then four in the gold four in the silver, four in the gold, throw a handful of white in. That's what's gonna be used to fill the tree. All right, this is up close and personal on the inside of your tree, but I'm showing you this because I want you to see that this is what you don't wanna see. I don't wanna look in, see a bunch of space, see the pole, see where the branches connect. You know, that's not really pretty when it's an artificial tree. So I'm gonna take this ornament and I'm just gonna start hanging them on the inside and you're gonna see that it's just gonna cover up wherever you would normally see in. Now this looks like a mirror. Hello, you can see us. Hi, I'm Lisa, this is my videographer, Katie. You can see the mirror, which is the ornament, and that's what you want on the inside of the tree because you want it to show up. So if you just put matte finish or matte textures on the inside of the tree, they disappear. But if you put the mirror finish, on the inside of the tree and fill up with more of the mirror and less of the texture on the inside, then it really, really gives your tree depth when you're looking at it. When I'm decorating, I usually do about four of one color, four of another color, four of another color, and I try to do a north, south, east, west distribution. So I'm kind of doing a north, a south, an east, and a west with one color, get a handful of the next color, north, south, east, and west, and I just keep alternating until the tree's filled up on the inside and I'm ready to do the outside ornaments. I'm pretty much finished putting most of the ornaments on the inside of the tree. So that's just filling the tree so you don't see into the inside and all you see is the ornaments. But there's a little technique that I'm not sure I've talked to you about before, but it's really, really good. Stuffing the ornaments in the tree. Now most of the ornaments you're gonna hang, obviously, 
uh, but sometimes there's not really room to hang something, but you want something in there. So this is kind of a wicker ornament, so it has texture. I'm looking at a little hole right here. I'm not really sure how I'd hang something in there, but I'm seeing through it. So I'm gonna take this, I'm just gonna stuff it right there and the texture and the branches are gonna hold it. Let me show you something else. This one is broken. The top came off, so I can't hang it. So I'll just take it and stuff it right in there and it will stay. Right up here, there's a hole. I'm just gonna take it and let it sit right there. So you're gonna hang most of your ornaments, but sometimes once you're through hanging, there's still little holes, and if you want to fill them, try stuffing the ornament in. Now make sure and stuff it so that the top of the ornament isn't sticking out. You're just seeing the side or the bottom of the ornament, so you really get the look. Now I'm going to take my ornaments that are a little more ornate and start filling in all around the outside, and it's going to be really pretty. So kind of an update on where we are with the tree. Kind of filling in, kind of filling out actually from the inside. So. In the very center of the tree, I usually do the most simple ornaments, and that's a lot of the mirror finish and smooth finishes. And then as I'm building out, I start adding more of the glitter, a little more texture, trying to space everything out, and I'm kind of in the mid-range right now. I have the center filled, I'm filling out, but I'm not all the way to the ends. One of the things to remember is that before you get completely done, make sure you know where your key ornaments are going to go. If there are certain ornaments that are a difficult size or shape to place, or they have special meaning to you, then you wanna make sure that you know where they're gonna go before you fill everything up and they don't fit there anymore. Keep in mind, if it's a long ornament like this, it's probably going to need to go on the end of a branch. If it is a large ornament, but not long, like this, I have to say this is one of my favorites. I loved, loved these sets of ornaments from last year. This is something that because of its size can obviously go on the outside of a branch and that gives it movement. It kind of moves like a chandelier, but you can also, because of the way this tree is built, I have some room here. I can actually put this here to fill up some space in the back and then add more color in front. So you're going to need large ornaments. Those are gonna go lower on the tree and then smaller ornaments like even something as small as this or these to go on the upper end of the tree to mix in as well so that you're going to have the perfect size for everywhere you need in the tree. So I'm gonna fill out the edges. Now the really strategic part comes in because I'm doing the finishing ornaments, really balancing the colors, balancing the textures, balancing the sizes, and then deciding where my very special chandelier ornaments go. So the tree is mostly done. I finished putting a lot of the finishing ornaments on it and those are the ornaments that are larger or more of a dropping design, so they're gonna be on the outside. I went ahead and put the bow on because the bow covers up some of the top, so that's gonna make a difference in where I put some of the ornaments. Now I'm gonna go ahead and place these chandelier ornaments or disco ball ornaments or whatever you wanna call them. But I'm gonna have you come up close and personal so you can kind of see the logic and how it's done. But these I saved till almost last because they're some of my favorite. This is a tree that's built with some of the branches coming out. It has more of a dynamic in the branches. And I know that sounds weird, but if you look at a lot of artificial trees, they're kind of a cone. This tree really has longer branches, spaces in between. So this is an area on the top of a branch where it's kind of hard to find anything that will fill. These large chandelier ornaments really fill it beautifully. That one's coming off, so I'll go ahead and find another hook and put that back on, or I can just stuff it up there. <laughs> These are the ornaments that really finish the tree. They're absolutely stunning. And then some of the other finishing ornaments are going to be these long drop style ornaments. And these are just going to kind of go wherever you have a little bit of room on the edge, 
because you really want these to be hanging. You don't want them to be stuffed into the tree. These need to hang to really give them their full look. So these are the large chandeliers. Love these. Then I also have these. I have two of the, there you go, two shapes in the smaller sizes. So now I just have to literally go around the tree and try to find a little place where I can put in a little bit of sparkle. So if I were looking here, I could try it over here. I try to be very careful with these because I don't want to break them because I absolutely love them. If you look right here, this is the top of another branch. I could put a large ornament here. Make sure I'm hanging it from a branch above so it doesn't go anywhere. But I'm going to go ahead and just place these all around the tree and then I'm ready to really take a step back and see what needs to be zhuzhed. I think I have effectively found every inch that an ornament can go on in this tree. But isn't it gorgeous? A mountain of ornaments. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. The dining room is all decked out for Christmas. Isn't that beautiful? A blue tree in a blue room and it looks like a party.